our keynote. You allowed me to put my eye to the keyhole of history. I wondered, could I make a film on the sex lives of the Bolsheviks? Stalinist Frigory, which has little enough to do with communism, would have made that a difficult project. Oh, how I would delight if all my Stalins were exorcised. supposed to read this stuff. What's the matter? I don't understand any of this. I mean, who gives a shit about the Bolsheviks? The commos are fucked. Anyhow, people just want a good story. Yeah, but this job's paying our bills, so let's get on with it. Constant continued his obsession with art and politics. It's not really true that no one gave a shit about the Bolsheviks. I did, for one. I did these paintings in honour of the Bolsheviks. their heroic modernist dream had collapsed within 10 years. And although many people have gloated over this ever since, others have understood how difficult the job was and kept their faith in the political process. But perhaps you'd prefer I spoke of art instead of politics. I love these old Bolexes. I suppose they're relics of the past, like old communists. Not that I want you to think that Lydia's a communist, though. Lydia is Constant's partner of many years. One day she saw an item in the newspaper about an exhibition in New York that contained a very large number of works by Picasso and Braque from their early Cubist period. <laughs> 